Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebo Joe and this is a tutorial for Work Ascent Resources Soviet Republic. Today I want to tell you everything you need to know about factory connections, how to use them and what engines are available. Hello. So this is a very basic setup and I want to just get right into it. We have a couple cargo grain storages on the side, we have the food factory in the middle and we have a warehouse on the other side. Let's empty all of these so we can actually show you what's going to happen and why it does happen. So the first thing that we need to understand is what is an active and a passive building connection? There are actually three. There's active, passive and factory. Factory is a little funky, so I'm going to start with that. The factory has internal storage. If you put anything inside any of the other storages that are connected to it, you will not see anything going into the import warehouse inside the factory. However, as you can see, the crops here go down because the factory is actually working with what's here. So it's pulling directly from this unit. It will also pull from this unit if it wants to. Uh, and this is more related to um, evenly distribute cargo somehow or some other way. Um, but yes, the cargo goes down in both of these uh, at some point and it will use up everything. That is because a factory effectively expands the internal storages, import and export with everything that is directly connected to it. And that's only direct connections. That means only one factory connections, uh, connection, nothing else in between. And that's all three of these, direct connection, direct connection, direct connection. That means, and this is the next scenario, if we get rid of all the crops that are in here and just look at our warehouse and get a couple of crops in here, just, just a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot, and then, well, my crops here aren't moving at all. And the warehouse is saying missing crops. That is because nothing is directly connected to this warehouse. They're indirectly connected through the storage and a storage is a passive building. It cannot push nor pull anything. It's just there. The factory doesn't really push or pull either. That's why I'm using it as a third scenario. It's the factory building. It just expands the internal storage which is all three of these buildings that are part of the internal storage now. So everything that it produces on food also goes into this warehouse. Cool. Is there a way to get the stuff that's in this warehouse? Yes, I'm glad you asked. If you delete this thing in the middle, you can actually add a factory connection engine. What is that? It's not 100% clear right away, but if you go in the menu, you don't have that many options. There are forklifts from a forklift garage. I will probably have seen this a lot um, using one of these factory connection crossings like this. The nice thing about these things is they can be super long. They can be extremely long and they give you a false sense of security that you can place them somewhere. But a factory crossing connection like this one is another entity. It separates the direct connection uh, from a factory connection because this is just another building and this is also passive. It doesn't do anything by itself. It just interrupts this. So if we would, for example, get rid of this one and replace it with an actual factory connection that may actually fit in between here. No, it's too long. It doesn't work. Uh, if we would be able to connect it with a direct connection like we have up here, you would get the cargo out of here. But as you can see, you can't even connect it because the length is wrong. So we have to add a factory connection crossing here. Cool. Well, you have to activate it with forklifts, like we just said. And you can place a forklift garage here or a factory connection there. It doesn't matter. They both do exactly the same thing. You place this one here. It does the same thing as that single singular uh, factory connection that we just placed there. All you have to do now is purchase some forklifts. And I highly, highly recommend you use the modded ones for these because these forklifts cannot move anything, especially for high volume transports like uh, grain. They're not very good, but you can use them. And that's fine. Everyone plays in their own way. You set these up exactly like distribution offices, nothing complicated there, and they will start moving. And everything that's connected via a factory connection like this uh, can be driven through. So you could uh, connect a couple more of the factory connections here, and they could also drive through there if they choose so. But as you can see, the distance here is a lot shorter uh, than the other thing. But that is a factory connection engine. All right, just a couple more things I wanted to show you. First, there's nothing in these two grain storages at all, and the warehouse right now is already filled with crops to the brim. We're not allowing any more cargo in. We have a couple trucks sitting here that are picking up crops from this grain storage. They just load it up. As you can see, this one does not have power. It doesn't need power to function. So if that's something you care about, 
Now you know. Uh, this truck is just going to pick up something and bring it over to this warehouse. Now, what will happen when he drops it off at this warehouse? Well, let's just see what, what he does. So he runs over here, unloads, and look at that! Stuff just magically appears in the two grain storages that are connected, and I would say it's trying to relatively evenly distribute it. What does that mean? It means that this building is directly connected to um, a couple other storage buildings. And anyone that drops off in this building will drop off into all connect directly connected buildings. Now, if you have one of those factory connections, again, like I talked about before, this is no longer a direct connection. It's an indirect connection if this is somewhere in the middle of those two, like, like right here. Um, and that would no longer work. Otherwise, you can set this up so that it would evenly distribute to everything if you, for example, had maybe another factory connected to this guy. You could totally set it up that way if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if that's a good or bad idea, but you can. And this building could be any building that has direct factory connections. The problem is if you use a warehouse, it only has one parking spot. That is not great. It's a lot easier to place, for example, uh, a road or a rail cargo station. Doesn't really matter which one you use. They both have four connections in this configuration. And now, if we look at what happens here, let's see, where's our truck? There's our truck. If we tell it to go to our cargo station that we have sitting over here, unload there and wait until unloaded, what do you think will happen? Let's first assign it to that guy and see what he does. So he, he dropped a little bit of storage and I believe there's a tiny bit of storage in, in this cargo station itself, but let's ignore that because he's not doing anything else. He's not actually dropping off anymore. So this building, because it's already full of crops, does no longer accept any crops, so he cannot drop anything off. Because this building is connected directly to the warehouse and is not connected to the grain storages directly, it's connected indirectly through the warehouse, it cannot push anything to those uh, two buildings at all. And that's why he's stuck here. So if we tell this guy that, hey, yeah, we'll allow a little more, a little more stuff in there, then the warehouse will fill, but the connected grain storages will not fill. I hope that all makes sense. So when you set up your scenarios, you just want to make sure that you have the correct direct connections where you want them. You can use cargo stations where you need them, especially where you need parking spots um, and everything else should work. There is nothing else to this. You can use uh, the forklifts if you want the factory connection engines, but they are relatively slow. I would highly recommend doing direct connections only with factory connections unless they change it anytime in the future. Last thing maybe, uh, factory connections are bi-directional, so you can see that there are two directional arrows on here that can go both ways. So if we have some uh, crops stored in here, for example, it will pull out the crops here and push out the food at the same time without doing anything to the internal storage. I hope that makes sense and gives you enough of an idea of how to use these factory connections. Little bonus, here are a couple of configurations that you can use in the vanilla game, uh, which I like. The first one is the three silo configuration, if you want to go truck heavy, you can drop off everything you want in this silo. And because of what we talked about with the warehouse and the two, two connected uh, connections there, whatever's dropped off here is evenly distributed across all three of these silos. The same is true for picking up. You can also pick up from the middle and it's evenly picked up from all three silos. Or if you want, you can pick up from the two outer ones. Everything is fine. You can also make this a, a, a five, five building configuration like so, and then you would only drop off into these two and you could pick up from these three or whatever configuration you want. There are several several versions, but you can always pull uh, three silos at least together and uh, I think that's pretty cool. The other configuration that I often use, especially with rail, is this cargo station and you can drop off and pick up with trains as well as trucks from this cargo station if you don't know that. Um, works the same way. This is just one building that's connected to all other buildings directly. So everything that's dropped off here, gets evenly distributed to all the connected buildings as well as everything that's picked up here gets evenly picked up from all the connected buildings. I hope that makes sense and it helped someone out there. If not, please, please, please leave me a comment and tell me what I did not cover. But that's all there is. There is nothing else. You cannot push through a storage at all. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's all there is. Direct connections for the win. Good luck and um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.